See, when you try to buy cat ears on Amazon, you either get the really kawaii version or you get the um, not safe for work version. So I took the safe route. <laughs> Welcome back, awesome people, to Cocktails and Consoles. It's Melissa, and if the um, get up isn't telling you guys, we're finally playing some Batman on this channel. And I am super excited because I've been wanting to play a Batman game for the channel for a while, but there just haven't been any that really grabbed my attention until Batman the Telltale series. Many of you guys who have already played the first one, the second one is now out. It has some great villains in it. I played the first chapter. I'm going to continue playing them all the way through as they become available. But we're going to go back and play one because the actions in one carry through in two, which I love that in a game. I think that's just so smart. For those of you guys who haven't tried it, Batman the Telltale series is a wonderful choose your own adventure where you get to step into the shoes of not only Batman, but also Bruce Wayne. And the decisions that you make will affect the game. Not the overall plot, as I found out. I mean, you are going to be taken along some pretty standardized areas, but the way people react to you and the way people come out of those all depended upon the decisions you make. And let me tell you, the story is so good. I don't know who wrote it, but whoever did, bravo. What they do with some of my most favorite villains, it's just... Oh, I can't say enough good things about this game. So for those of you guys who've been watching my videos since the start of the channel, know that we already did one version of a Batman drink, but now we're going to change it up with a little bit more kick. You know, add a little bit of a Catwoman to the mix. To start us off, what you're going to need is two ounces of vodka, two ounces of Kahlua. I recommend getting the chili chocolate because what it does for this drink is unparalleled. But if you can't find it in your stores, regular Kahlua works just fine. And about two ounces of heavy cream. Now this has to be heavy cream. You cannot use half and half for this. This is a version of a very popular drink, one of my dessert favorites, which is a white Russian. But we're gonna spice it up a little bit. So first off, we need to take care of the base. And the first thing is we're gonna take our vodka any kind will do. You're not really looking for a flavored vodka because you want the flavor of the Kahlua to really set the pace for this drink. Next, we're gonna use two ounces of the Kahlua. Give this a little bit of a shake. Oops, not near the mic. <laughs> Give this a little bit of a shake just to cool down that Kahlua and then we're gonna add it to the drink. Pour it all in with the ice cubes. Now, in our little shaker, we're going to use about two ounces. I would actually pour a little extra on here because some of it's just gonna cling to your shaker. We'll pour about that much. Now, the reason why we're using a tiny shaker rather than the usual 8-bit uh, heart shaker is because we want to beat the hell out of this cream. We're basically making a step before a whipped cream, so we're making a cold foam. So once you have it all nice and tight, really shake the hell out of it. Now, the reason why we're whipping this so hard is that we want to make sure that the cold foam sits on top of the ice cubes because the decoration that we're going to be doing needs to stay away from the ice, otherwise the ice is going to mix it up a bit. Now, this is all for decoration. You don't have to do the shaking. You can just pour it on top. But if you want to be able to do the Batman decal, it needs to be a bit thicker. So now, pour it on over our drink. There we go. That's what we need. So you can see it's not the consistency of a whipped cream, but it's a lot thicker and has more air in it than we originally started. And now for the fun part. So use any kind of thick paper like cardboard paper that you have, and just wanna freehand draw the Batman symbol or any symbol you want. We're gonna lay this right on top of the drink. That's why I draw the circle first so I know about where to put it. Your local craft store should have these. They're by Wilton. It's basically colored dye. We're gonna take this and just brush the top. And there you have it. Then, right before you're ready to drink, just give it a good stir to blend in the cream with the uh, spicy chili. Oh, 
Oh my god, that's really good. <laughs> oh, it's something about the chili and the chocolate with the cream together. It just, oh, it's like a lot of emotions in a glass. You have the sweet and the frothy at the top. Then you get that nice kick in the back of the palate from the spicy, the rounded off with the chocolate. With a little bit of the punch from the vodka. Let me tell you, this is a nightcap. I'm kind of curious to replay the game after a couple of these and see what kind of decisions I make. Well, I hope you guys like this. If you do make this, please take a picture and please tag me in it on Twitter. I'll put my information down below. I love when you guys make the cocktails from these videos. It really makes me happy. So I hope you guys enjoy the playthrough of Batman Telltale 1 and 2. And we will also be doing a Batman Telltale live stream where you guys get to pick the decisions that I make. Cheers!